What is going on guys? Um, I am out here working on a customer's 2003 Ford Windstar and I thought this might be a good time to stop what I'm doing and make a video that could probably help out a lot of guys that are driving these Windstars. Uh, there's also a few other Ford cars and uh, mid-size SUVs that have the same issue and I didn't see very many videos on YouTube so I figured this would be a good chance to do it. Alright, so real quick. Customer drops off this van and it's got a bad power steering leak. Uh, it was leaking from the top of the power steering pump right there. Now, no matter how tight they want to tighten it, it was still pouring. So I was thinking, okay, there's probably rubber O-ring in there. Let me break that loose, put an O-ring on, and we're good to go. No, not on these. These particular lines have a Teflon O-ring that you got to heat up with water or sometimes there's a little cone tool you slip over the threads and it slides on and it goes into this groove closest to my thumbnail so I did that tighten it down and it was still pouring but it was shooting out from between the nut and where the hose goes through the middle what a lot of people don't know is this isn't like your old brake lines where this spins freely inside of this nut there is a seal and yes, it goes bad. And when it does, it will just squirt out like a squirt gun. It will just shoot straight out. Doesn't matter how tight or how tight you make it, it will shoot out. When that happens, it is game over. You have to change the line. There's nothing else you can do. You, you can't JB weld or nothing. It will just pour right out. So, if you have one of these and it's leaking, don't waste your time. You got to change the line. This is a little better example. See right here, I'm trying to put some tension on it. It's just start to spin that's where the seal on this side is still good this one wasn't leaking or bad and then watch this one so there you go now here's a tip for a few guys are doing this job and you have the wind star it's not step by step but it's easy you're gonna get you an 18 millimeter wrench if you got a crow's foot, it'll make your life a little bit easier because then you don't have to take away the big hose or take off the big hose. But you're going to have an 18 millimeter. You're going to go under the vehicle on the passenger side. There's a bracket. There is an 8 millimeter bolt. Just one. It holds the hose down. You pop off that bolt. When you get done with that, you can go ahead and lay your car back down. And all you got to do is if you're doing the high pressure line, at least on this Ford One Star like this, you go ahead and pull off the windshield cowl. It's not that bad. It's about a dozen 8 millimeters, one or two 10 millimeters. When you do that, it gives you access straight down. Let me see if I can't grab my flashlight so I can show you. Here we go. When you do that, look closely. It gets you access. Let's see if I can get a picture. Here we go. If I can get the flashlight in there. Let me get a better shot for you. Right there. Guys, wide open hole. You can get right in there, and you can get right to that bolt and take it right off. You don't even need a crow's foot. 18 millimeter comes right off. So hopefully that'll help out some of you Ford guys. Like me, working out here on this dirt driveway. I don't have the fancy lift, and I'm sure a lot of you don't have the same uh, fancy lift in your dirt driveway. Or cement driveway. But, take the cowl off, and you can get right in there and get to it. So, hopefully that'll help out some people. Um, if you got any questions, go ahead and comment below. It's pretty easy. I've done some on some Dodge minivans that are nightmares. Uh, if you're not real good at turning wrenches, you can still do this job. It's not that bad. With that being said, I think it's time for me to grab me a glass of tea and wrap this thing up because I haven't eaten all day and uh, hopefully this video helps some people every time with my little car repair business if I can help people I try to stop and make a video and and do it and as you can see I gotta be doing something right guys I got customers dropping off cars left and right business ain't that bad and by the way check out my little I don't know what you call it, that little canopy thing there kinda cool Alright guys, again, I enjoy being on here and uh, hopefully I can uh, continue to help some of y'all with some quick tips. You guys have a good one.